Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead. In today's video is about how to set up Google Analytics 4 settings in less than 10 minutes. Now, this is based on two posts by my friend Corey and my friend Ernesto, and I'll put their links below. But I wanted to do a very practical walkthrough of how I do it and just how you can do it as well. So I have set up a new GA4 account, and the reason why I did this is just to show how to exactly do this. So once you've set it up, and I've, and I've called this Test 2023, you need to start collecting your data first. So before you can do settings, you need to make sure it's set up. So I'll be doing web and there we go. And I'll just be going marketlead.com.au. Obviously don't use market lead because that is just my company. And then we go here. And what I like to do here is make sure that these are all set up, especially the form interaction. That one's really important because on a lot of GA4 accounts, I've noticed that this has not been tracked or not been tracking. So just make sure that's done. And I'll also go through that again. And then we create our stream. So that's where the data is coming in from. Now, once you've set up your stream, you'll be needing to put this on your website. So usually just grab your measurement ID and then you can put this into your Google Tag Manager. Now, I'm not gonna do that now. I've already done a video on how to use Google Tag Manager and how to set up GA4. But the main thing is grab that measurement ID, put that in and that's where you start. So. What we can do is there's actually a lot of ways we can go through this, but I find the best way to go through settings is just going from the top down. So going from setup assistance, just making sure that you're collecting data and you're collecting here, manage data streams, we already did that. Setup assistant again, going down here, turning on Google signals. So this is the next one, manage Google signals. Now you wanna be turning on this because it captures a lot more data for your Google Analytics account and more. So just press get started, continue, activate, and that data is pulling in now. And then you can also just check that it's tracking across all the regions you want and also removing any that you don't wanna be tracking. That's more important. Granular location device data collection, make sure that's turned on. Once again, if there are any countries that you do wanna remove, do do that. Advanced settings for allowed ads personalization, similar, go in there and pull any countries out you don't need, but make sure that's on. Lastly is the user data collection acknowledgement. I acknowledge, and then that is done. So back up to setup assistant, then going back down here. So you set up your conversions next. So to set up conversions, that's actually based on events. So to set up events, you need to actually do this in Google Tag Manager or on your backend. You can only create conversions from events. So all conversions are events, but not all events are conversions. But I'm going around here quite in circles, so I'm just gonna go over the basics. So you do wanna be adding your code to your website and all your pages, and then go to admin data streams and select it. So we just did that. The next is set up your events. So you wanna make sure you've got your events tracking so you can actually turn them into conversions. They usually take about 24 hours to process. Once they're processed, you're getting results, you can turn them into conversions. So we go back to data streams here and we wanna make sure that this is what I did before. You wanna make sure that these are turned on. And if you've already done this in your account, just make sure again, these are turned on. The next thing we wanna go down to is data settings. So data settings down here, go to data collection. We've already done that. So that's all ticked off. The next one is data retention. Now for me, I personally took this on to 14 months and then turned this off. You just wanna keep more data in your GA4 account, capture as much as possible. The next one is just going down my list over here, attribution. This is a really important one, attribution settings. Now you just wanna make sure that this is set onto data driven, just will capture more of your data and actually give you more of a linear approach to actually seeing how things are going. The next one is uh, removing low quality referrals. So we wanna go back up to data streams and this is removing things like if you're an e-commerce business, if people go to PayPal or your Shopify to get rid of them. So you wanna go into here, configure tag settings. And once this loads, you wanna go over here to show all. And then you also want to go down to list unwanted referrals. And this is where you can put a list of domains. So there are paypal.com, add condition. Also, we've got shop.app. Uh, and there'll be way more that you have, and you can keep removing them if you want. Pay.google.com. And the last one is shopify.com. 
and that is done there. So that just removes any placements or points of target when people have been to those websites. So you don't attribute sales from those platforms. It's actually to the previous touch point there. Now, the next one just going down to is linking. Now, this is really important. You actually need to make sure that you've linked all your accounts. So the main ones that I see that most businesses need to do is Search Console. Uh, and you want to link your Search Console to here. And the next one is Google Ads as well. And I'll do that quickly now for Google Ads for my own company list here. And this will stop showing. Firstly, you want to make sure you enable personalized advertising that's turned on and then also allow access to analytics features from within Google Ads. That's super important. Make sure that's on. And then now the last thing you do want to set up just from a settings perspective is your audiences. So there will always be a all users or purchases, but in here you can create your own audiences. And this will be another video I can do. But the main audiences you want to create is just based on a lot of, of your events. So once you've set up events, you'll have them pushing through here. If you've got, for example, like me, I've got ebook downloads. I've got ones called ebook download, thank you. I turn that into an audience, set to the maximum, and then I'd be calling this ebook, ebook download audience max. And then I'd be saving that, and then I'd be pushing that back into my Google Ads, but also just here for referral base. So that was a quick video on how to set up your Google Analytics for settings in a really fast way. Hopefully it's been less than five or 10 minutes, but this was really important because this took me a while just to go through all of these things, figure out what specific ones are important, and hopefully this has just saved you time. So once you've gone through this once, you can do it again and again. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. J4 is evolving over time, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos about it because it is extremely important for Google Ads, paid advertising, and all digital marketing. So this is an area I'm gonna narrow down on. So please stay tuned for more GA videos, but remember, like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, but most importantly, share. And if you're ready to become a market leader and you're serious about increasing your sales, increasing your customers, and scaling your business with Google Ads, have a chat with someone at my team about your Google Ads account at marketlead.com.au.